Ciao a tutti! Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how my family makes tomato passata, which is the base for many Italian dishes such as pasta and pizza sauces, lasagna, parmigiana, stews and soups. Andiamo! We start off by placing tomatoes that have been ripening off the vine for a week under cover into big plastic containers and filling them up with water and then giving them a good wash. Here we are using Roma tomatoes but feel free to use any locally grown fresh tomatoes that you can source. We then roughly cut up the tomatoes into quarters so they will fit through the machine. We place the chunks into bread baskets to help drain the excess water. This also makes it easier transporting the tomatoes over to the machine that's going to separate the skin from the juice. We also discard any blackened, mushy or rotten tomatoes at this point. This is the machine that makes the passata and it's a beast. The tomatoes are fed from the top with two sections. One that discards the skin and the main part that extracts the tomato juice into a large bucket. We don't discard the skins straight away. We run them through the machine three times to extract as much juice as possible before discarding. Once the buckets are filled up, it's time to bottle. We then fill clean long neck bottles using this raised trough which has a tap with a guide that releases the liquid when pushed up and closes when the guide is moved down. We use 750 milliliter beer long neck bottles because their dark glass helps to keep out sunlight. We also use one litre green San Pellegrino bottles. We fill the bottles with sauce, leaving around two inches of headspace so that they don't explode when they're being processed. After filling, we then seal our sauce bottles with new clean caps using this capping machine, which is height adjustable. Once they are sealed, they can now be moved to large drums for processing. We then stack the bottles in a 44 gallon drum that has been lined with old rag cloths to help disperse the heat on the bottom and stop bottles from breaking. Once the bottles have been filled to the top, the drum is then filled with water, covered and the burners are ignited to start processing. After bringing the drums to a rolling boil, we then set a timer for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes of vigorous boiling, our sauce is done. All that's left to do now is to allow the bottles to cool and then stack them in a cool, dry place and then the sauce will be ready to use. That is how my family make tomato passata sauce and have been doing so for generations. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you same tomato time, same tomato channel. Arrivederci.